morning. I don't know where Vinny went. <laughs> Vinny and Julie were parked next to me last night. Um, I just texted them and haven't heard anything yet. That's a little weird. Oh, I slept really good last night. I'm hoping they did too. But I maybe they went to get coffee or something. He texted me this morning, are you alive? And um, I was not at that moment. Ooh. We're warm today. Down the edge of a mountain tonight, I'll sleep on Sunset Strip. Next week, it's down on Cocoa Beach, and then back on the road in Route 666. seems like we've already been on the road for a month filming this thing. Uh, broke my camera yesterday, my microphone, I gotta duct tape that thing today. I gotta find some duct tape. Yeah, um, I have no idea where they're at. It is 7.46, I actually slept in, man. I <laughs> slept until about 7.30. I don't usually sleep in that late. Person has a giant kiddie pool. Why in the earth would they take a kiddie pool inside of a cracker barrel? I'm lost. Anyway, Vinny and Julie went uh, to a gas station to get some stuff. It's a little natty in here. I swear this whole middle of the country is just infested with gnats. Probably because of all the rain they've had lately. See how I can put things together? Alrighty. Do you have a window thingy? <laughs> That's how you do it when you're mad. <clears throat> Put your window down. Put your window down right now. I want you to see this. Put your window down. Where are we going next? I think I've lost them again. <laughs> I did kind of take off quickly. Obviously, we're filming the movie, but I also want to see all this stuff. I need to do this again by myself. Uh, where we're not on a time crunch. Ultimately, we have nine, ten days left. Wait, what is it? Is today June or July? At least June. So ten days uh, to film everything and be in Los Angeles and be done. Um, as far as everything we're filming on the actual trip. The rest we'll film in Nashville, but Nashville? Same state. Tennessee. Um... Dude, that light was only on for like two seconds. Anyway. <laughs> People. Ah, we, uh, I want to see stuff. I'm not just doing this to film a movie. I want to see all the roadside attractions and the fun shit that we're looking at. And, uh, you know, do something for a side TV with it. We should be seeing the Blues Brothers car way up on a pole over here somewhere. Should be uh, within sight. There we go, baby. No place to park, of course, but I don't care. We're getting out, we're parking. <laughs> Way. Apparently, there's a 
the original two lane road from Route 66 is over here, which me and Julie really want to see. I imagine, uh, I'm hoping uh, Vinny does too. <laughs> this might be it here, I have no idea. This isn't it, then somebody will uh, make fun of us about it. I originally thought this was where Abraham Lincoln was buried. I'm gonna have to save that for another time. Unless we go through Springfield. I don't think we do. Pretty sure we're not gonna be in Illinois for much longer. We may though. Um, I thought this is where, I've always wanted to see Lincoln's tomb, you know. And... No, it's just the Abraham Lincoln uh, Cemetery. Supposed to mean something? It's like a symbol or something? While they're playing catch up, I'm gonna get some steps in and go film some stuff around this little area I'm in. much on Route 66, especially in where we're at now, because these little cities have really embraced it. I have definitely got to redo this trip just with myself, or maybe even with my daughter. We planned on doing that years ago. Never came into fruit-ishing. Oh, I just like walking like this, dude. I could spend all day in this town, Wellington, and see everything, and then move on to the next. This is awesome right now. Windy, <laughs> but awesome. This is exactly what I needed to get out of Chicago. Just, ah, yeah. Love this. This is pretty cool. Of course you're on camera, it's a jail. Are you? This goes down. Another one in the books. It's 
very beautiful uh, windmill. I thought it would be like a Danish one, you know, with the big. It is. He had it shipped here from South America in did he 1977. Did? I did. There's oh. The original one. 1977? Yeah, but the original one just had so much damage and it was used to provide water to the open door. I don't know why they chip it here. That looks like it's pretty easy to build, to be honest with you. They shipped it up well, from South it. America. I could do that. Can you get in there? <laughs> Some St. Louis barbecue, why don't we? You ready? Yeah. I'll pick up some ribs. Get some deodorant. I got some if you need some. I'm starting to offend. Do you need some? Ken, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got Jackie and Ken who are also at the same time going down Route 66 all the way to LA. And this is cool, we got people. And they got a washing machine. Oh, In their car. Oh, I do. What? That's oh, yeah, it's a little wind. It, I'm not kidding, it works great. Let me show you this because um, I have I'm, everything I'm else you'll ever need. I'm a little funny about going to laundromats and stuff. I can't stand laundromats. I was just talking about that with somebody. stuff in it like literally oh, Pontiac yeah has a ton of stuff here here's the funny thing yes you started that there's Chicago you're only right there's a whole lot left and that's like not even that's just the St. Louis Oh, look at this van life here, man. The original van lifers. This is incredible. Look at this van life right here, man. This is, uh, I didn't know yet how much I love the museums and this is kind of a. Brandon doesn't know how much I hate steps. Oh, hey, we're in the 1940s. This is cool, actually, man. Yeah, hookers. There we go, the 1940s house. Oh, I remember this. What is this? Oh, yeah, you remember that? Yeah, man. There's a bass in the corner, brother. Let's get, you get on the bass, I'll get on them drums, and we can probably do this song. Sit in. Yes. Oh, oh. We're close to the band. I didn't know they had reclining theater seats back then. I think they're just broken. May have. They are 80 years old. Look at this, another whole room. I think Dragon Man has a few more, but I mean, this is great. Wow. Saying is the 1940s sucked. <laughs> it's pretty evident the 1940s compared to now unless you were a white man sucked the worst apparently there's a titanic experience exhibit where is this it really these look like i don't think there's a woolly mammoth on the, on the titanic this stuff is so awesome look at this <laughs> look up yeah but look at this little downtown area i love stuff like this so freaking much i do too it's also the first day of summer so i'm not 
Aw. I don't think I can leave without going to the Faf Bakery. I have to go and see what we st They got strawberry cheese tarts, people. Order today. Oh my goodness. Why does it smell so good in here? Hey, right with you. I believe you. Yep. Oh my goodness. What is that? What, what, what is, what are these? All right, we are heading to St. Louis. Gonna forego a lot of stuff between here and there. It's about 200 miles away, three hour drive. Probably quicker if traffic doesn't treat us like it's treating me right now. I've been trying to turn left forever. Anyway, um, we're going to film the barbecue scene uh, just to set up in the exteriors of the barbecue scene. We'll finish that in, in Tennessee. So, oh, come on, guys. The light's been green forever. All these big-ass trucks. Anyway, <laughs> I'm trying not to bitch. I want to have a nice, fun drive to St. Louis because St. Louis sucks. And it's going to be crappy when I get there. Not Chicago crappy, I hope, but crappy nonetheless. It'll be around rush hour when we get there, so. Uh, anyway, gotta get it done. Hey, don't look like they're open over here at the Maple Syrup Place. Funks Grove. Uh, maybe it could be. There's a car, there's a truck. My Take... uncle, who owns it, was. Ooh. Um, this looks ominous. <laughs> um, he was bottling in the back, but I, I just saw a truck home. leave. Well, like everything up here is really cruel for somebody who doesn't eat a lot of sugar. <laughs> Look at that. Ah. Well, at least it's what is it's that? real syrup. Ooh, it's so syrupy. Which one's this? This one is our pure maple syrup. And you spell regular. syrup with an I. We do because it's um, the historic spelling it goes by the S I R U P was um, only the sap being boiled, nothing added to it. Spelled mm. with a Y meant that you added fruit juice or. Oh, sugar. really? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. And we also have a sign, but yeah, so that's oh, the. You mean this giant sign right next to you that I didn't? <laughs> But we have a have we a had a family cut. member that insisted. I want to lick the bottle. It's not really awkward. A lot of I'm... people do. Uh, <laughs> You're not the only one. Walnut, and they had the maple sap in there. And they oh, were, that is so good. They were going to run that out and do mm -hmm. water behind it, and then do the the walnut. And anyway, well, I got a little crystal in there. It got mixed, so. Like I said, it was kind of a happy accident. That's a very happy accident. That makes me happy that you had an accident. <laughs> All right, Atlanta. Yeah, I decided to stop in Atlanta because they were getting some gas, and uh, this is some cool, sh cool stuff, man. <laughs> like Route 66 is just littered. Look at this guy. Oh, he looks like uh, Alfred E. Newman. Look at that. <laughs> That's freaking fantastic. I absolutely love little towns like this, especially ones that embrace something as fun and inclusive as uh, Route 66. Kind of keep track of where everybody's from. Sure, who would you like me to make this up to? Mm. We need to get on the road. That's what's gonna happen here. <laughs> And we do need to get on the road, but I keep, I keep seeing places and stopping. There's Abraham. Oh my God. Oh, Jill and I are 
right? Is that Pong? The CPS Lite 2, which Lennon McClain and this one. This is the first video game ever made. It's Pong, right? It's computer space. Oh. That's the first one. That's the, that's the first Atari game. I can't believe. I mean, when people come in and just take some down memory, like, we've got some really... I've never seen one so in person. This is so rare. You gonna play it? You got a quarter? I think they're they're either on or... Broken. They're broken, yeah. He broke it. The last one made, and he broke it. Holy cow, I can't believe it. There's a door Excuse there. Excuse me, madam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a little stroll some meat oh, this is great. Wow. GPS in St. Louis. This will be a chance to redeem myself. It's always my fault. I'm always like not paying attention for a minute, filming something and going, oh crap, I gotta get over and there's no getting over. But this is actually, the traffic is fine right now, which is astounding. Oh, I do gotta get over. Hey. Seriously though, it's White Castles. It's not, uh, you know, studying for a test here. Just get your, get your stuff. There you go, good job. Gotta know what you want already. Lapino doubles. Can't go wrong with that. That looks like total crap, but <laughs> not very good presentation, but it's gonna taste good. You know what's funny? Mm, that's good. Some people would be wondering why, Brandon? And why, Vinny? Why would you travel across the country, legitimately travel across the country and film all this stuff and spend all this money on gas? And why would you do that when I mean, you don't have a distribution deal? You don't have a, a contract with anybody to make this movie. Nobody's funding it but you. Why would you do that? I don't freaking know. Kind of the same reason I do anything. Because I want to. I want to make a movie. I want to make one with Vinny. I wrote it for Vinny. There's nobody else that could do this movie. Maybe there is. I haven't met him. Hmm. Radio stations were big money makers, big deals. Um, they're selling this WDRQ, which is a great signal to Christian Broadcasting Family Life Communications for $10 million. Oh, one of my favorite places. Hello. This is one of my favorite places. I ain't been here so long. Welcome back to Uranus. Thank you. I'm so glad to be in Uranus. This is Laura. She was so nice to let us hang out here for a minute and. Hey, everybody! Basically, uh, do our thing. I was here years ago and I, I just knew I wanted to do something here, so. They have great other shirts here, not just Uranus shirts, but it's too much bacon, said no one ever. I poop today. I work harder than my ugly stripper. Oh, I work harder than an ugly stripper. Waking up every day seems a little excessive. I want someone to look at me like I look at beer. Okay. Well. What's your favorite shirt? Aw. Love me some Uranus Fudge Factory. And uh, it keeps expanding over here. I'll go by the dinosaur and it come this way, like you're, like you're pulling in. We're doing some uh, pickup shots here where he pulls in. Uh, he gets in an argument in the Uranus Fudge Factory. It's an interesting little movie, man. <laughs> Look at all that neon. So I went to the doctor the other day. What'd he say? man said what's wrong with you i said i just keep saying over and over again wigwam tp wigwam tp it was just in my mind wigwam tp wigwam tp and the doctor said 
the doctor say you're too tense. Mm-hmm. I almost wanted you to hit me in the balls for that one. <laughs> Have I heard that before? No, never got it. The sideshow. All right, Luke. Careful, there's freaks and geeks in here. Yeah. <laughs> well, this, this is awesome. Oh my God. All right, Vinny's grabbing a bite, but he's missing out. Are you kidding me? We got Myla Mint Murphy, Lucky Cheater. We got the uh, half bass, half monkey. Fort Leonard Wood Garboon. We've got everything in here. This is great. Really well done, too. What do we got in here? Swamp Bang. There he is. Oh, you know what that is? That's a deer's ass that they made a monster. Oh, I love these. I love stuff like this. Oh, man. That's just terrible. Oh, that looks like me after those white castles. Sneaky snakes. Alligator snake. It's a radigator. There's elephant man. These were real people. Where's that person? I want to see a real picture of that guy. I love this stuff. Let's see those again in Vegas. It's the merman. The two-headed baby. Alive on the inside. Oh, look at this. There he is. He's the world's tallest man ever. I forgot his name, but there he is. Very, very tall man. And here's his, here's his mummy right here. I guarantee that's 100% real. Oh, no shows tonight. Oh, this might be one of those things where you grab it and it buzzes you. Those things are awful. This is nice, though. I feel like I'm getting my hair done. You got real creatures in here. It's, you got a big old turtleneck. He's wearing a turtleneck. Look at him. Hey, buddy. Little foot of the snake necked turtle. There he is. Snake -necked turtle. He's a snake necked sure. turtle. For sure. What do we got over here? Oh, more. Oh my God, these turtles are stuck together. It's a real turtle and it's stuck together at the butt. Oh, it's I'm a cat so dog. Sorry. It's a cat dog. It's a real cat dog. Oh my God, look at this one. Oh, hey buddy. These deformed turtles, they, their oh, life baby. is terrible. All three of you are stuck together. There's three of them? I think there's one over here on the other side. Do you see it? I think it's two, but you, that's his butt. Oh, that's his butt. That's his tail. <laughs> that's just horrifying. So, my story of this crap happened near Missouri, oddly enough. It was near East St. Louis. And uh, my parents wouldn't let me go into the sideshows. And I saw one outside that said Popeye. And as a kid, I loved Popeye. So, I was able to sneak away from my parents and I went in the tent. And I paid 50 cents or a dollar to go see Popeye. And they got this Popeye the Sailor Man effigy everywhere. And I go in there and there's about four people. I'm sorry, about five chairs and like two other guys. And they both looked like they were drunk. They had like their collars disheveled. And they looked like child molesters now. You know, I, I have no idea why they were in there. And so I'm sitting in there and it's dark and I'm in a tent. And all of a sudden this guy comes out black man, did not look like Popeye, no shirt on, had the little tiny curly Q chest hairs. He came out and got a fifth of whiskey. <laughs> Set it down, stumbled over this way, started playing the record player. And on the record player, Popeye the Sailor Man, Popeye the Sailor Man. So then at that point, he comes out and he starts doing this. <laughs> And every time he did that, one of his eyeballs would come out, the other one would come out, the other one would go out, the other one would go out, and when one would come out, the other one would retract. <laughs> on the ends of his veins. And I'm a little boy. And I'm like, ah! uh, I'm Vinny, like, I'm I, I got I to gotta cut you off. Come here. What? Come here. I'm like a 
like a little kid screaming my bloody head off. Uh, well, um, gotta go ahead and show you something. Well, if they've got Popeye in here, they, they're gonna think this was rigged. Oh my God, it's him! <laughs> Julie! <laughs> this story about Popeye. <gasps> you know that story I've always told? Yes. Jesus. Well, what does it say Popeye at? I can't, people are gonna believe this story now. Dude. This is proof positive that my story about Popeye is 100% real. There he is, there's Popeye. Pet the alien. Pet the alien. Caution. Danger, stay back. Pet the alien. <laughs> ah, I knew that was gonna happen. Ah, you son of a, it's a live alien in there and I tried to pet it. Why would I do that? Oh, this is so cool. I never got to see any of this stuff. It's a rattlesnake. There's baby rattlers in here, be careful. I'm in Uranus jail being booked. You are Phil McCracken. I'm Phil McCracken? You're wanted for unlicensed fudge packing and mooning the mayor. Unlicensed fudge packing? I had a license. You did not, evidently. Seth Poole. Seth, You're wanted... Seth Poole? Seth. Seth, my friend. Oh. You're wanted for littering and not keeping Uranus clean. That might be true right now. Oh my now, Julie. Now you're Sharon Buns. Sharon you're, Buns? You're wanted for trying to sneak wieners into Uranus without a permit or proper condiments. Guilty. Oh, no, that's rough. You're I'm a hog. I'm a hog? Yes. I am. I had White Castle today. Unlawful entry into Uranus, excess TV <laughs> usage, <laughs> pro approach with caution. And the world's largest freaking belt buckle is right over here. I love this band. I have like literally all their albums. Oh, they can't play tonight. They're sick. The Uranus Pickers can't play tonight. Deal with her because you had to. All right. I think we've had our fun. We've had our fill of Uranus. Oh, look at the moon and the North Star up there, just hanging out. Just hanging out up there together. So this road we're on is the actual Route 66. That's all 55 or whatever freeway that is. This is actually Route 66. Hotel Cracker Barrel tonight. Vinny and Julie are out. Uh, having dinner at Buffalo Wild Wings. I think I would rather die than eat that salty ass garbage chicken. Oh, sorry, Buffalo Wild Wings, it's not a fan. Anyway, it's uh, end of night two on the road with these guys and day two of uh, filming with them. Awesome, had a great time, got some good stuff. Going through it right now, so yeah, bye for now. <laughs>